Hey, Gary Korb from CigarAdvisor.com, and I'm looking for my next hashtag now smoking cigar to review. I'm here at Leaf Humidor at Famous Smoke Shop, and let's see what we got here. New releases. Uh, okay. Oh, hey. Warped Cloud Hopper. Warped Cloud Hopper. I have not smoked this cigar before. This is the 485 Robusto, and it is part of the Cloud Hopper 1 selection and it's got Aganorsa tobacco in it, which I really love. And let's see how it tastes. Let's go smoke it. So here we have the Warped Edition 1 Cloud Hopper. This is the 485 and it is a 5 by 48 Robusto and it has got a beautiful Nicaraguan wrapper on it. This is all Aganorsa growing leaf on this cigar. It's all Nicaraguan. Um, this is a Corojo 99. The cap is beautifully done. I've already clipped it and the uh, cap came off beautifully. So let's light her up. I've never smoked the cigar before, as I said. And um, I don't know what to expect, but I'll tell you the pre-light had a really nice taste. It was kind of that nutty, cocoa kind of flavor. Reminded me a little bit of a Padron, you know? So if you've smoked Padron, you know what I'm talking about. So let's see how our warped cloud hopper does. Wow, lit right up. And the first puff is nice and smooth. And it has a nice aroma. Wow, really creamy. By the way, this cigar was created by uh, Kyle Gallus and his brother, Devin. And where they got the name Cloud Hopper was they both do a lot of traveling. So when they get together, they tell each other stories of their travels and they said they called them Cloud Hoppers, Cloud Hopper Tales or whatever. So um, I thought that was kind of interesting. And this is only made in two sizes. Uh, we have this one and uh, the Robusto, and then they also make a number 53, I believe, and that is a Corona. I believe it's five and a quarter by 42, something like that. So anyway, so far I'm enjoying it. You know, it has kind of a, I'm looking at the wrapper now, it has almost kind of like a, um, of a Cuban appearance to it, you know, with its color and the way the oils are on the wrapper. So it's really attractive. Oh, baby. Here comes the spice. <laughs> and it's very creamy, very dense smoke. I like that. And it's, it's really flowing nicely. It draws perfect. Ashes, you know, a little early yet. Ooh, the retrohale is spicy. So basically what I'm getting in this very early stage is really nice draw, uh, good construction. I don't feel any soft spots. Um, the, um, the ash looks like it's gonna be sort of like a gray and black striped kind of thing. And it's very spicy. You know, look at all that smoke. That's really nice. I like it when it's, you know, comes out of the uh, top like that. It's really cool. So far, it's pretty enjoyable with the coffee. I can see maybe having this with something, you know, if you're gonna go alcohol, um, you know, maybe a good bourbon. Uh, I like rum, um, maybe port, I don't know. Port might be a little too sweet. But uh, so far, it's really nice. We've got just about an inch on this thing, and the smoke is amazingly creamy. It's very balanced. It is still spicy. It, it rounded out a little bit, and the ash looks really nice and firm. The, the burn line's a little, little uh, wobbly, but it's really not an issue. I mean, you know, a lot of cigars do this, but it's burning fine. And um, I'm getting 
still some sweetness, still some spice, and um, let's say. Almost like a, like a cookie, like a cracker, like a graham cracker or, you know, kind of a flavor in there. There is just like this little hint of, say, cocoa and even maybe some vanilla, but very, very slight, like just enough for you to pick up. And just really, really impressive so far. Really impressive. Even the retro hail smoothed out a little bit, which is interesting. All right, so. Act one is done. Well, well, well. Look at what's going on here. Now, I'm not one of these long ash guys, but this thing is really something. Just as we're heading into the second act, this ash is really nice. I almost don't want to knock it off, you know? Um, but the flavors have rounded out a little bit more. They've settled in, the balance is excellent. It's still, you know, there's still a little spice, but I'm getting some really nice creaminess. Um, the aroma's kind of sweet, I like that. You know, I'm always afraid that this ash is gonna come off and surprise me. So I'm gonna tap it. It's very firm. And then I like to roll it like this a little bit. It's sort of a cone. Yeah, look at that. It's really burning nicely. I probably could have let that go another half inch or so, but it's fine. I don't need that much filter. So let's see how we do. Yeah, it's real creamy. It's so well balanced. It's amazing. It's kind of earthy, still kind of nutty, still a little bit of sweetness in there. I really like it with the coffee. Yeah, I mean, just this, I, mean, I rarely see cigars that are, you know, built like this and really bring that nice creamy smoke out. It really makes it more enjoyable. I kind of like it, you know, because after all, you're here to smoke. <laughs> so make smoke. Yeah, even the retro hail, just real creamy. I guess you could say the base notes for now are some spice, sweet tobacco, some, I'd say, oh, we'll say graham cracker, a um, little, little bit of that cocoa in there, some nuttiness. And I just love the way the, uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the oils, the, the, the wrapper right here near the ash is there's, there's like, it's just oilier and so it's a little darker and it's just, it's just like a very, very nice effect. Cigar aesthetics, I guess you would call it. And if it was just a little lighter in color and I took the band off, I might be able to pass it for a Cuban, but I can tell you this is as good, if not better, than any Cuban I've had in recent months. So, some other cigars that I've had by Warped, which I really enjoy, are the um, the Guardian of the Farm. They make that. That's a very good cigar. 
And um, I can imagine that this in the corona size will probably be a little more spicy, probably a little more full in body. You know, you're getting a little more wrapper, so you get, might get a little more aroma. And this, I think, I think the dimensions on this are perfect. This has got a 48 ring. It's not a 50, but it's really well balanced. So, let's see what happens next. Well, we are just getting near the end of Act Two, and the cigar is rounded out. I'm getting a little more uh, flavor now. What I'm getting is, I'm getting a little more like a woody note in there. It's still kind of earthy, still a little bit of sweetness in there. Still amazingly creamy and balanced. The ash is still amazing. And I really, uh, really, really impressed with this the cigar and it just goes to show you that this Aganorsa tobacco is just fantastic just about every cigar I've had with Aganorsa leaf in it has been really really well balanced and very very savory The other thing I can tell you about the cigar is that it's very affordable. And that's what we like. It's well under $10. And I'd say that for the caliber of the smoke that I'm getting, it's well worth it. It's just hitting on every cylinder. The burn is perfect now, no more wobbly. The ash is great. You know, just love the way that oil comes out of the wrapper. And the retrohale is still creamy. I'm not really getting a ton of flavor out of the retrohale. It's, it's just creamy, I guess kind of nutty, maybe a little woody. The woodiness is, seems to be rising up to the surface a little bit more now. And the spice is sort of moving off to the side. So, I haven't had to touch it up, it's burning beautifully, and I think that's due to the way the cigar is rolled. I, it may even be an intubato rolling, it's hard to tell from the, uh, the head now. But either way, the draw is just great, whoever rolled it you know, did a great job. Yeah, everything's in balance. On the finish, I'm getting a little more spice. I'm still getting some wood and some, I guess it's kind of like cedar, or maybe it's a combination of cedar and oak. Because it's not, it doesn't have that sweetness that cedar has. But it's definitely woody, very complex. I like the way it's changing as it's smoking. That keeps me interested. Yeah. I think we got a winner here. Now let's ash this one too. It really doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to leave. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, look at that nice little cone there. That's a sign of a really well rolled cigar. All right, we're getting into the final third here. It's still really smooth, it's not getting bitter. 
I'm, I'm not even taking as much time as I normally do between puffs. I usually like to let it sit for a minute or so. And that helps keep it cool, helps uh, keep the burn nice, nice and even, and you get more flavor. If you're gonna keep hitting on it, especially at this point, it's just gonna turn bitter. I don't care what cigar it is. Yeah, getting a little more earth now, a little more spice, which, which I would expect because now you're getting down to the end. So let's see how this thing turns out. Okay, we are getting down to the last couple of inches. The cigar is still very smooth. And you know, there are a lot of cigar smokers, what they'll do is they'll just smoke the cigar down to the band well, this one's really good. So what I try to do is I try to move the band down. Now, sometimes the band is kind of tight. You know, you don't want to tear the wrapper. So I'll just sort of roll it between my fingers a little bit. And sometimes that will loosen the band. Also, there's a lot of heat coming in now. So that should loosen the glue. And I'll just, in the direction of the roll, which is this way, I'm going to just very gently move the band back a little bit. So it's gonna give me a little more cigar. Once again, the retrohale, just really creamy. It was very peppery up front, if you remember, but this cigar is just rounded out to a beautifully balanced, creamy, woody, earthy, nutty, delicious cigar. Now the other thing I did was I got a glass of water. So what I want to do is I'm going to try tasting it without the coffee. Because you know water is also a very good thing to pair with your cigar, especially if you're tasting it for the first time because you will get a lot of flavors with just plain water. There's nothing else to, you know, coat your palate like coffee. Okay. So let's see how it tastes with just water. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up a couple more flavors. I'm definitely tasting more of the woodiness. I'm getting a little bit of a charry note, but that's natural. I mean, a lot of the resins and oils have moved back, so it's going to be a little stronger. I would say that this is a medium plus. It maybe borders on full, you know, depending on your experience. You know, a new cigar smoker might find this very full, but I think this Cloud Hopper is right on the money, and I like a medium, medium plus cigar. I'm definitely very impressed by this. It just hasn't lost its edge at all. It's just so consistent. And again, the ash, just amazing. I only have two nuggets in this ashtray. They're each about an inch long. It's just, the cigar is just performing magnificently. And what I like about that is like I said, I've never smoked the cigar before. This is my first time, so I really didn't know what to expect. Maybe move it down a little bit more. I normally would take the band off at this point, but I kind of like using it as a marker for this review. I mean, we're talking about just less than two inches. It's still going great. I'm also trying to take lighter puffs. 
when you get down to this end, you don't want to just like, you know, suck in all that smoke. You just want to like, let it do its thing. Let it cool a little bit, you know? Just let it sit there. And go back to the coffee. Well, I think this is good for a few more puffs. It's been a wonderful cigar. Just can't say enough good about it. There's lots of creamy smoke. It's definitely Nicaraguan, I'll tell you that too. It's got that, all that nice spice going on. And so we've got three good ashes for each third and this nice Robusto. Yeah, now it's, now it's getting a little spicier. So anyway, to wrap it up, this was the Cloud Hopper by Warp Cigars. It is the brainchild of Kyle and his brother Devin. And they uh, really did a beautiful job on it with the Aganorsa tobaccos and it's rolled perfectly. So kudos to the folks at Warped. And thank you for watching Hashtag Now Smoking. We'll catch you next time and happy smokes.